Hi, and welcome to our Asian Arts Auction Preview video for the July 10th auction. We're going to start here with these two framed Japanese prints. One is by Takahashi and the other is by Hasui Kawase. Just a nice pair of mid 20th century Japanese prints, nicely framed. Above here, another Japanese print. This is by Nakayama and dated 1958. Um, kind of an atypical scene of a horse unusual subject matter, estimated at three to five hundred. We have this rubbing here, so it's a Chinese rubbing of two sensors. It is signed, there's a seal stamp in the upper left hand corner, and there's an interesting description on the back um, saying these sensors are for 700 BC and that they were gifted to an emperor. So kind of interesting, came out of a river town estate and is estimated at 300 to 500. We have a pair of watercolor paintings of birds and flowers. Both are signed. Next door from a Dobbs Ferry estate, we have these two watercolors of birds, which are quite nice. And now we'll move on to some decorative items. Okay, we'll start here with this pair of bronze figures. They're estimated at three to 500. Nice subject matter, um, these kind of dancing figures. The next, we will begin here with this Japanese uh, patinated bronze heart form bowl with mixed metal inlay. And this is by Joni Aosuke the second, and this is estimated at 800 to 1200. We have a grouping of Chinese Fami Rose bowls with applied dragons. So these are two Millefiori bowls with the applied dragons and baths. And then they have, we have this very nice imperial yellow bowl with floral decoration and, as well as an applied dragon and bat. And these three together are estimated eight to 1200. We have this bronze mounted flambe vase mounted as a lamp at three to 500. And this is quite beautiful if you just look at the nice color variations here. This again is Chinese and this is uh, flambe and it's just really beautifully done. And you can see here, unfortunately it is drilled through the base, but it is quite nice. From a Norwalk estate, we have this pair of Jap um, Chinese cloisonne vases or tripod vases with the floral decoration. These two again at three to 500. From our Dobbs Ferry estate, we have this pair of crackle glaze. So we have this crackle glaze bowl, and then this is a celadon crackle glaze, and these are both Chinese. This one's quite nice though, if you take a closer look. So not only is it the Celadon Crackle Glaze, but you can see beneath the crackle, there's kind of a floral depiction throughout. So you can see these kind of leaves or branches, which is really quite nice, a nice attention to detail. Dobbs Ferry again, two pieces of Chinese porcelain. So we have this blue and white jardinier, but what's nice is the reticulated edges. So there's a, the reticulation then in an interior um, body. And then this is a Chinese Fami Ver bowl with lily pads. Back to some, chi some Japanese. So we have this Japanese jardinier, and this is in the style of Maruto semen, and this is quite nice. Again, at I believe this is at five to seven hundred, but check the website for the the estimate on this. But it's really quite nice; should do well, and it is signed on the underside. And then again, we have a, a large collection from Dobbs Ferry. So these two are together. So this is a cabinet vase and this is flambe um, and sang de Boeuf. So it's sang de Boeuf on the exterior and then you can see the kind of purple on the interior and to the rim. And it's together with this nice Blanc de Chine or De Hua bowl, but it's really quite thin. So it's a really, it's a really light bowl, which is a, a testament to the quality and age. So it's really quite nice. Blue and white Chinese with Dutch silver mounting at three to 500, again from Dobbs Ferry. Dobbs Ferry again, this is a blue and white um, prunus or peony vase, and this is at three to 500. From a local Larchmont estate, this is Japanese. It is signed to the underside, but if you just look here, who doesn't love animals? And these are monkeys and these kind of flowering branches and with vines. Um, really quite nice. Unfortunately, there are some condition issues and some old repairs, but it is signed to the underside with this kind of circular mark. Really quite nice, three to 500. Uh, we have a large Celadon blue and white vase um, with figural depictions and then these handles of do foo dogs. We have this highly carved wood stand, again, Chinese and some sort of flowering and, and foliate design. Quite attractive is this Fami Verit vase that's now mounted as a lamp. 
really quite nicely mounted also, probably for the, the European market. Um, but again, depicting flowers and birds. We have not taken this apart, so we don't know what is on the underside, um, but really an interactive lamp. Three pieces together, two pieces of, um, well, there's blue and white to the interior of this bowl as well as the plate, but then the exterior is Fami Rose, and it is signed to the underside. Small Phoenix bowl in blue and white, signature within a double blue ring, and then we have this yellow and green bowl with dragon. Um, another Japanese print, this again is by Hasui Kawase, and this is called Lakeside Shower. So really quite nice. You can see the seal stamp here and some additional markings, and then one more mark down in the right-hand corner at four to 600. So these are one of my favorite lots in the sale, kind of because they just have this funny, whimsical quality to them. Large in size, they are Chinese, and it's a pair of Foo dogs with these kind of funny extended tongues and bulging eyes on these pedestal bases, um, but they're really quite sweet. They have crackle glaze. There's a few some losses, but they were used and they have some decent age to them. And these two are together at eight to twelve hundred from a Dobbs Ferry estate. Moving forward, we have this Fami Rose table screen. Um, it is signed and it does have a wax seal stamp. Interesting, three to five hundred. In front, another piece of Japanese. So this is a Japanese Meiji bronze vase with Fu Lion handles. It is signed to the underside. Haven't identified the maker, but there is a signature. And this is also at three to 500. We have this 18th century bronze incense burner. So we have this stag with the seated um, Lohan. So he comes off, incense would go into the interior. Um, it's kind of on this converted base, wasn't original to the piece, but it fits well. Just want to make sure that he's on there well. I'm actually just going to put him down so he doesn't risk falling. Um, but it's a nice antique Chinese bronze sensor. Interesting piece, not 100% sure on what the purpose of this was. It's either a shoemaker's weight or um, a child's weight. So it's really quite heavy. It's carved from stone and has this, I mean, it might be for, for um, kind of adhering a um, some sort of strap to a child to make sure that they don't run away, I believe. And then it has kind of this adult figure with their hand on a child. So I think that might be an implication of what the purpose was. But it's here to sell at four to six hundred. Um, these two pair of Fami Rose vases with these landscape scenes, probably twentieth century. You can see the mark to the underside, so kind of an apocryphal mark. But these two together at three to five hundred. Okay, up next are these two pair of Foo Dogs, and there's actually two pairs. So there's these two, and then there's a slightly larger pair. Um, and these are quite nice, green and yellow on these pedestals, um, attractive. And they're all together at three to 500. We have this large grouping of Chinese export rose medallion. So there's a pair of vases, there's teacups and saucers, and then there's a teapot. So all this came from a White Plains estate, and it's all here to sell at four to 600. We have this Tibetan uh, mandala style tanka. Um, nice age to it. Um, there is some wear, but it is estimated at three to 500. If you just want to take a look at the back side here also, usually a good indication of the age. And this came from a Manhattan estate. Okay, and moving on. So one of my favorite things in this auction are this pair of 18th century cinnabar vases. So you can see the nice age to it, great carving, um, but what really stands out is that the cinnabar bases are also carved cinnabar. So I'm just going to take these apart so you can kind of take a better peek. So the fitted cinnabar bases as well. So nice red lacquer and black lacquer. Um, and this does come with a 1985 appraisal stating that they're Che Long and they are 18th century. So interesting, a recent find. This actually came from the same estate as our Fabergé dinosaur that's, that sold a few months back. So this is a carved archaic style jade bangle and it is here to sell at six to nine hundred. From our Dobbs Ferry estate we have a carved jade object with a bamboo pattern to it at three to five hundred. We have this 
carved jade snuff bottle with a carved amber stopper. And this is also really quite nice from our Dobbs Ferry State. Estimate of 8 to 1200 is this rock crystal sensor or vase. Um, a few condition issues, but we have carved ring handles. We have a beautiful carved um, incised decoration throughout and the Foo Dog finial. I'm just gonna lay it down to, so it doesn't fall over. And I also wanted to show you this, so it comes with the original box that it traveled in. Um, and you know, it's always a testament to quality with the effort people put forth for this. So each section fits its specific piece. So here's the stand, the lid goes here, and then the body goes in the center and it just closes right back up. And it has a signature on the front, which is really quite nice. And this is estimated at eight to 1200. Okay, and so this is one of three Japanese prints by the same artist. And this is Jericho Sakimo. Um, there are two more nicely framed, similar frames, um, but different scenes, of course. So this is just one example of three. They're all lotted together at four to 600. And moving on, we have this large Celadon Crackle Glaze fish bowl from our Dobbs Ferry Estate on a nice stand. And this is also at eight to 1200. We have this Japanese floor urn or large urn with floral decoration and leaves. This is at four to 600. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at, so there are three groupings of Chinese peasant paintings. So they're all by various artists, great colors, great vibrant colors. Um, most are signed, all are identified verso. So there are three groupings. Each grouping has six paintings within. A lot have birds in them. Others are kind of village scenes, but they're all Chinese peasant pa pa paintings. And each grouping is estimated at four to 600. And that wraps it up for my selection of Asian arts for the July 10th auction. We hope to see you there.